The DPS formula in any game is typically highly complex and very hard to decipher, but I think I have done it and believe me when I tell you, you are going to be very surprised by what I'm about to tell you. Stick around if you're keen to understand how DPS works and how you should be using this deceptive number when you are making your gearing choices. Hello and welcome back everyone, it's Vesp here from skillup.gg. Today I'm going to be unveiling how DPS is calculated in The Division, something that many people have been wondering about for quite some time. I'm going to be doing this short version today and tomorrow I'm going to be releasing a long form version that goes into detail behind all of this. So if you're keen for that one, be sure to subscribe and you'll be notified when it becomes available. Regardless, I've put a huge amount of work into this video, so if you find it useful then please give it a thumbs up. I got nearly 100 likes on my last video and that is a huge help to me so if we could reach the same thing or better with this vid that would be amazing so first of all a very quick caveat all of this is still a theory at this point but i'm pretty damn certain that it's right because it logically makes sense and it mathematically lines up there's always a chance of course that i am wrong however i'm confident enough in it that i'm willing to put it out there publicly uh, and share it with you guys. So for now, take it with a grain of salt until the devel uh, developers release an official statement on what this calculation is or until we get the into the live game and we can do much more extensive stress testing. So DPS is obviously a measure of how much damage we are likely to do over a certain period of time, averaged out in one second intervals. In order to calculate it, we need both a numerator, which is our damage, and a denominator, which is a span of time. So let's go about clarifying what they are and bear with me because as I said, you're gonna be very surprised by what goes into both of them and it's gonna have a very big impact on the way that you gear your character. So the foundation for this stat is actually your per bullet damage. Now there's a lot of math that goes into calculating your final per bullet damage, which I'm not gonna cover in this video. You can check the video tomorrow for the detail on that, but essentially per bullet damage is the cornerstone of this calculation. And just to be really clear, that is how much damage do I do when I shoot a target with no armor in the chest? That is your, per, your base per bullet damage. The next thing that we add is the value of critical strikes. Now in the game, there are two crit stats. The first one is critical hit chance, which is how likely it is that you'll crit. And the second one is critical hit damage, which is when you do crit, how much bonus damage is applied. Now the math supporting the inclusion of these stats is very straightforward. It's critical strike chance times critical strike damage times your per bullet damage. So this is saying that every bullet has a certain percentage chance to apply a certain amount of weapon damage as a bonus damage. Uh, and then we add this value to our per bullet damage to find the second part of our numerator. So what's next? Well, in this game, headshots are actually not crits. They are just headshots, which apply their own type of bonus damage drawn from the bonus headshot damage stat we can see on our mods and on our character sheet. So we need to add the value of headshots. This seems like it would be pretty straightforward, right? Wrong. So first things first here, there are some bugs associated with uh, this stat. Um, I won't go into them in this video. You can check out the long version of this video for the details on that, but there are definitely some issues which I've ticketed through to the devs and hopefully they'll have them fixed at launch. So for the sake of being brief, let's assume that our headshot bonus stat is accurate and say that it is one part of the headshot damage calculation. Now here is where things get really interesting. And this is what really blew my mind when I finally managed to figure it out. Accuracy, the missing stat that was for some reason buffing our DPS where stability was not, is not just a stat that determines our reticle spread, it is the stat that is used by the DPS formula as a value for how likely it is that you are going to land a headshot. Now, I've got some pretty strong opinions about this and I won't go into them now. Again, check out the video tomorrow for those, but the TLDR on this is that this is just a little bit too cheeky and it's going to lead people to make some bad gearing decisions. We'll talk about this more tomorrow, but for now, let's just press on. So to be super clear, this is how headshot damage is calculated. It takes your accuracy stat, it converts it into a chance to score headshot stat, and then multiplies that by your final headshot damage multiplier. So this gives us the contribution of our headshot damage to our per bullet damage. But what makes this even more complicated is that headshots can also crit. So you also need to add the value of headshot crits to your per bullet damage. So the way you do this is simply headshot chance times by headshot damage times by crit chance times by crit damage times by per bullet damage. And this gets us to the contribution of critical headshots to our per bullet damage. 
And with these four things in play, we're now ready to calculate our numerator, our total adjusted per bullet damage, which is a very simplified for in a very simplified formula format looks like this. Per bullet damage plus crit damage plus headshot damage plus critical headshot damage. So with that in place, it's time to calculate our denominator, which is the period of time over which our DPS is measured. In the case of the division, this value is actually what we call the cycle time, which I won't go into here in too much detail, but the very quick version of it just is to say that it's time to dump your magazine plus time to reload. That is your cycle time. So that's the cycle time and that's the value that is used as the denominator for our DPS calculation. And in the end, the calculation looks like this. It's per bullet damage plus crit damage plus headshot damage plus critical headshot damage. And then we times all of that by magazine size since we're using cycle time as our denominator. And that's it. That's how I believe that the game calculates DPS on your character sheet. And as I said, I have tested this fairly extensively and it's generally worked out. As I said, there are definitely some rounding error. There are some bugs in there that I think have affected the results, but I'm pretty sure that this is the final calculation. Now, there are two big issues with the way that I think this calculation works uh, that I think are actually quite counterintuitive and will probably lead to people making bad gearing decisions. The first is the inclusion of accuracy as a means of measuring headshot likeliness. And I've already discussed why I think this isn't the greatest idea. And the second is the inclusion of reload into this calculation, which I think is also really highly problematic and will lead to people making bad gearing decisions in both PVE, but especially in PVP. So to hear more about this, be sure to check the long version of this video tomorrow as I don't want to bore you with all of that detail now. The long and the short of it though is that I don't believe that this is how DPS should be calculated and I'm in fact proposing a different calculation that I think is a better reflection of likely in-game performance and that calculation is as follows. Per bullet damage plus our crit damage plus your chosen headshot damage plus your chosen headshot damage or crit headshot damage over your magazine dump time. So here what we've done is we've actually removed the automatic usage of accuracy as a substitute for headshot chance and we're allowing you to manually input what you think the likely headshot chance is. The second thing that we've done is remove your reload time because you should be able to determine if you wanna focus on burst DPS or sustain DPS when you're doing this calculation. Now, so at this point, I'd like to put out a call for assistance. I'd really love to create a website that allows us to um, use this formula or count use this formula to calculate dps manually but of course i don't have any web skills whatsoever so i've registered the domain name www.divisiondps.com and i'd love for someone to help me build this calculator and get it out there so that people can use it to calculate a dps value that i think is going to really reflect their in-game performance so if you're keen to help me out on this please let me know so guys, that's it from it uh, for me today. I've tried to keep this as short as possible and believe me that I have skipped over a ton of detail, but I wanted to get the formula out there in a short and punchy way so that people can look over it and then come back tomorrow uh, with a much more detailed look at this and really focus on what I think some of the shortcomings with this calculation. It's a funny formula and I think that we need to get the word out about it so that people don't end up stacking tons of plus headshot damage on their shotguns. So if you like this vid, share it, Twitter, Facebook, whatever else, give it a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe there are plenty more videos on the way until then take care and see you in the dark zone